for our next example, let's find the McLaurin series of the cosine. This is a little trickier than finding the McLaurin series of the exponential function, but the cosine does have a nice property that will let us do this without too much trouble. That property is that the derivatives eventually start to repeat. Here I have the cosine and the first, second, and third derivative. The cosine, the negative sine, the negative cosine, and the positive sine. If I now write down the next four derivatives, we see again, cosine, negative sine, negative cosine, sine. Because of that, the coefficients of the McLaurin series repeat as well. One, zero, negative one, zero. 1, 0, negative 1, 0. The first four terms of the Taylor series, I should say the McLaurin series, have coefficients 1, 0, negative 1, 0. And the next four terms repeat the pattern. 1, 0, negative 1, 0. Now notice that every other term here is 0. So that corresponds to 1, 3, 5, 7. In other words, all of the odd power terms vanish. And our McLaurin series ends up being an alternating series of even powers of x. If we wanted to write this compactly using function notation, we can do so like this. As with the exponential function, this series converges everywhere. But as this video is a little longer than that was, I'll leave showing that as an exercise to the viewer. 